guys, if our video helped you out, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit on the bell notification so that you can catch our latest guide or tutorial from us. Hey guys, I'm here to showcase 3 different alternatives you can use to transfer your file to your VPS. But if you happen to not catch our first part of the video, links is in the description below where I can show you on how to link your drives to your remote desktop connection. So over here, we have WeTransfer. It is a bit different from how Google Drive and Dropbox work. So firstly, what you want to do is that you want to enter your email inside. So you see, the first email you want to input either your own email or if you have to or someone else's email that you want to transfer your file to well, over here your second email you want to input your own email inside so that it will send you a notification when your email and when your file has been downloaded by you or the person you send this file to you can send the file to multiple people at once so over here at the top you can add up to three emails so you can send it up to three people so once you are done inputting your email, I have already input the email but it's blurred out for you guys so you guys can't see the email. So you want to head over to add your files over here, just click on select a folder and this I want to upload for example example, you know. So just click on upload and you see that this will upload all files from example. Only do this if you trust the site. So yes we do trust the site, so just click on upload and you'll see that they will show you that there's 2 GB remaining so you can up only upload up to 2 GB worth of space so just choose what you want to uh, you can do multiple uh, transfer so no worries you can just come back to it and do this method again you can come over here just if you like add a message to go with your transfer here if not just click on transfer it give you a second to load but it's 4 bytes so it's not going to take a while so you are done so it will show you the email that you are sending it to over to the right side over here and then the files that you have transferred so before we head over to remote desktop connection I'm just going to do the remaining two of the website that I'm showcasing and then we'll get back to it so now we are at Google Drive so I'm already inside my own account as you can see if you don't have an account, just create one, same goes for Dropbox. You can pause the video and come back to the video again once you have created or entered your Dropbox or Google Drive account. So over here under the drive icon, you'll see that there will be a button for you to click on new. So just click on it and you'll see that there's plenty of options for you to choose from. But in this case, I'm just going to choose the file out folder upload. And you'll see that there will be example again. So I'm just going to upload example. And the same thing will pop up. Let's click on upload. And you'll see that the upload thing uh, bar is over here. 4 bytes and thing is going to be very fast. So once it's uploaded, you'll see that the folders will pop up over here on example. And now we are done uploading it to our Google Drive. Now let's head on to Dropbox. So now we are in Dropbox. Same thing, create an account, you can pause our video and then come back to it again. So you see that if you want to upload your file, you'll see that there will be create new file, upload files and upload folder over here. Same thing, I'm uploading an example folder, so just click on uh, upload folder and you see that it will be in. Same thing, it will be inside my example file folder, just click on the file that you want to upload. And then same thing will pop up again, just click on upload. And then when there's like your file in there and then you'll see that uh, you just want to click on upload and it will upload the folder to Dropbox. So you'll see at the bottom over here in the middle and you'll see that there's a tick once it finished uploading all the files in the folder. So what you want to do is head on to files and then you'll see that the example is uploaded in Dropbox. So I'm gonna go get, get my remote desktop connection set up so I'll get back to you once I'm there. So we are here in our remote desktop connection and I'll show you how to transfer your file real quick. There will be a timeline in the description below so that you just watch the preferable website you'll be using as showcasing three different website will definitely make this video a little like tea and I don't want you to sit through all three so just look for the one website example you want to see 
but if you want to see through the whole tree to find out which suit you more, feel free to do so. So what you want to do after going to your remote desktop connection is that you want to open your Chrome and you'll see that I have three different tab open. My Gmail account, Dropbox and Google Drive tab. So why Gmail account is because we have used WeTransfer to transfer file over to our own email. So as you can see that in our inbox, someone or yourself have sent you files. So what you want to do is click on the uh, email that they have sent you and you will see that there will be two options provided to you which is get your files or the download link and both works fine so just click on one for example I'm just going to click on get your files and it will bring you over to the retransfer website and you will see that the folder that you have uploaded or sent through using retransfer is over here and what you want to do just click on download and the download will appear on the download bar in Chrome right at the bottom so if you want to just let me just minimize this and give me a second I'm just gonna minimize this and you see that the download is over here just drag it out and you see that your download will be over here I did one so let me just leave it so it will be over here in your desktop remote remote desktop connection so let me maximize this back so the next one will be Google Drive and you'll see that uh, I'm already in my Google Drive account same thing just log in your Gmail account uh, in remote desktop connection same goes for Dropbox as well you have to log into your account to download the folders you have uploaded so over here in Google Drive you want to head over to the folder section that you have uploaded or files whichever you have uploaded and you want to right click on the folder that you have uploaded so for example is the example folder over here and you see that there will be a download uh, button for you to click on click on download and they will zip up the file let's give you a while for them to zip your file up once it's finished zipping it will show a tick over here so once it's gone, you see that it will be downloaded in the zip folder over here. Same thing, just drag it out to your remote desktop connection and you will have the file for you to use. So next, the last one, last but not least, Dropbox. So over here at Dropbox, if you have just entered Dropbox, this should be the home page. So if you don't see anything here, if you don't see the suggested for you, the folder that actually uploaded, don't worry, just head over to the files on the left side and you'll see that the folder that I've uploaded, example, is over here. So what you want to do is click on the three dot over to the right, the last one, and you want to click on it and you'll see that there will be a download button over here. So just click on download and you'll see that they will zip it up as well uh, they will zip it up as well as the google drive they will zip it up and you'll see that it will be in your download bar in chrome over at the below so what you want to do same thing is drag it out and put it in your remote desktop connection and you will have the file in no time so thanks for watching hope this video uh, helped you out and will help you easily transfer your file over to your remote desktop connection faster.